everyone. Thanks for thanks for stopping back by. Uh, today we're going to be replacing a oh I think it's a 30 year old carrier. Got to drop a liner. Um, <clears throat> I got to put a liner down that side there, um, which is there. Z flex <clears throat> and. We're going to be, we're keeping the AC because that's fairly new. We're going to be putting the vent, oh, somewhere right there for the new one. All right, so we're going to be replacing this old furnace. And you can see, the dis right here's a link to what I found with this one, old carrier weather maker, and we're gonna be replacing it with an Armstrong. And I'll show you this once we get it unboxed. So, you ready to get to work, son? Yep. All right, let's do this. Let's look at this Armstrong. Um, stainless steel heat exchanger, both primary and secondary. Um, yeah, these things right out of the box are dialed in. Uh, sealed burner, sealed combustion, nice draft inducer, um, nice board. Um, yeah, these things are good. Um, like I said, Allied Air, Allied Air owns Armstrong, which is part of Lennox Industries. So these are solid units. I mean, the cabinets. The metal on these things are, are they're they're stout versus a man of Goodman Daikin. I mean Daikin is just paper thin, you know. I'm all about quality. I don't care about the name brands. It's all about quality. So, yep, just a little update. I know I've talked about this before, but when you cut these out, um, take a pair of channel locks and then fold them down because when you slide your filter in it lets the homeowner slide it in and back and forth where without catching otherwise when you pull it out it catches right here i've been on numerous jobs where that happens so yeah just do the homeowner a favor and fold bend this in this is just for your new techs out there just a tidbit I have updates. Just got done doing the gas. Uh, we decided to drop the coil instead of making an adapter down here to the furnace. We did some modifications up here and dropped the coil down and then Tyler's out making metal right now. Um, so yeah, he's doing the metal for that. Uh, getting ready to work on the electrical condensation and then we're going to work on the vents. I got to do some measurements outside so where I'm at with my gas and uh, we'll go from there. And you know I thought we had some venting issues. We probably still did. I mean this was a clay lined um, flu and I thought maybe it was blocked, but I don't think it's blocked. It's just um, just the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. We're gonna pull. We're gonna pull a liner for this water heater because you can see it's melted. wasn't drafting correctly, so hang on to it. Grab on to it like that. Dude, grab a hold of it. You're not going to hurt it. Yeah, that should be good.
John Tunney, you'd be proud of me. Long way down. There, finally got that son of a bitch down. That's a steep one. <clears throat> Baby. Dates. Finally got this done. That looks a lot better. Like I said, we dropped the coil. Otherwise, it would have been about five, six inches. We'd have had to make an adapter. So we just made an adapter here, dropped the coil, made some modifications up here to do that. Um, I don't know what happened here. This is a little crooked. I had everything nice and straight and level and. I think on the monks of priming and gluing my fittings, this moved, but it is what it is. I mean, um, yeah, we're, I still got to put my sticker on that yet, but we got the liner down. Man, that was a bear. So, yeah, let me know how many of you guys do liners. I'm curious, different parts of the state, you know. Um, everything's all mortared. Now, this isn't. I, I fired this up and it's not rolling out at all, but this is this is what was going on and it wasn't drafting properly. And you can see the rollout that was uh melting this, but it's drafting good now, so we're we're good to go. There's the vents. You can see how that ex that accelerator pushes the exhaust more that's on high fire now that accelerator works great on these uh allied furnaces and it pushes it a good four or five feet out hopefully it doesn't kill this tree here but yep i'm away from my gas meter i had to go right there in that specific spot for my gas meter all right guys thanks again for watching i really appreciate it and uh have a good night